Today, I'm going to tell you the 10 things you need to know about the Anzu Raptor drones, the de facto alternative to the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series. Don't move. What's up, Dronefly fam? Daniel here, back with some intel on a hot new player in the drone game, Anzu Robotics in their Raptor series. These slick machines have been buzzing around the web, so let's break down the top 10 things you need to know. Number one, familiar face, new name. The Anzu Raptor might look like a DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise, and that's kind of true. They license the hardware from DJI, but it's built in Malaysia. Number two, data security on lock. Forget worries about sensitive info on foreign servers. Anzu prioritizes data protection with Aloft's US-based servers. Number three, pick your Raptor. Anzu offers two models. The base Raptor is perfect for mapping, and the Raptor T, which adds a thermal imaging camera, perfect for inspections and public safety. Number four, fly free, almost. <laughs> Unlike some geofence drones, the Anzu Raptor gives you more freedom to roam. Explore areas that might be off limits with other models, but remember, always follow local regulations, drone fam. Number five, updates on your terms. Anzu understands that downtime is a no-go for critical missions. Unlike some competitors forcing updates that ground your drone, Anzu lets you decide when to update. Number six, software switch? No sweat. Anzu's flight software is like your comfy favorite hoodie, familiar and easy to use. If you're a DJI pilot, you'll pick this up in a snap because there's literally no learning curve. Number seven, mapping at its best. The Anzu Raptor is a photogrammetry and surveying beast. They're constantly updating their software and working with third-party base station manufacturers for seamless compatibility. Number eight, DJI accessory add-ons? Yes, please. <laughs> Love your DJI gear? No problem. Anzu Raptors are compatible with a full range of DJI accessories, including batteries, propellers, and those sweet Enterprise drone mounting kits. <laughs> Number nine, Location, location, location. For government agencies or anyone concerned about a drone's origin, the Anzu Raptor is a dream. Built in Malaysia with final assembly in the US, it bypasses country of origin restrictions. And yes, it will work in places like Florida where Chinese made drones have been banned from many state and local agencies. Number 10, the price tag. All right, let's talk money. Anzu Raptors come at a higher price point than DJI drones. This is likely due to lower production volume, a smaller market, licensing fees, and their custom software. So there you have it. The Anzu Raptor offers some advantages over the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. No geofencing, control over updates, top-notch security, and US built peace of mind. However, for most casual users, the DJI Mavic Enterprise series might be a more budget-friendly option unless you're really into green. Need help making a decision? Hit us up at dronefly.com for all the latest info and pricing. Well, that's all for now, drone fam. See you next time.